In this video, I'm going to show you a customizable PowerPoint countdown timer that you can embed into your PowerPoint presentations. The first thing we can do is set the time to anything we want that's 24 hours or under. So I'll set it to five minutes. And then if I launch PowerPoint into presentation mode, I can start the timer. I can adjust the timer while it's running or when it's stopped by using these arrows. So I can increase the minutes or I can increase the hours, for example. There are four different sizes of timer available and you can add it to as many slides in your PowerPoint presentation as you want. So this is a medium sized one. There's a large one, a really small one, and then a slightly bigger one. If you want to, you can obviously change the size of the text boxes and make it any size or color that you'd like. So if this looks like something that would interest you, then in the rest of the video, I'm going to show you how you can embed the timer into your own PowerPoints. In the PowerPoint itself, you'll find some instructions on how to embed it. However, you may find if you're not confident with technology, you need a little bit more description than what I've given. And that's what I'm going to give you in the rest of this video. The first time you use it, it might take a couple of minutes to set up. But once you've got it set up, if you embed it in a template PowerPoint that you use regularly, then you don't have to do any of this work again. The timer is just ready for you to use whenever you want it. So to start with, we need to go to parkermaster.com forward slash timer. If you type that into your web browser, it takes you to this page here. If you click to download the PowerPoint and then open it, the first thing you'll need to do is because you've downloaded this file from the internet, you need to enable editing. The next thing you need to do is enable macros. The reason for this is that the timer requires some code in order to run and the code is embedded in some macros. Once you've done that, you can copy this timer into your own PowerPoint. So I'll open up a PowerPoint to add it into. So I'm going to add the timer to two slides. I've got a set of questions on this slide and then a set of further questions on the next slide. So the first thing I need to do is drag a box around this timer and copy it. Once I've done that, I go back to my PowerPoint and I can paste the timer into there. I'll also make a copy on the next slide. If I launch this PowerPoint now though, you'll find that nothing really happens because essentially all you've done is copied the graphics for the timer. What we need to do next is set up the code for it. Don't worry if you've not got any coding experience, you don't need to have any. What I'm going to do next is open the code window in PowerPoint by pressing Alt and F11. You can see the two PowerPoints open here. I've got the timer and I've got a new PowerPoint I want to put the timer into. In the new PowerPoint, we need to right click here and go insert module. Then in the timer PowerPoint, expand this folder called module and double click module one. Then we need to just copy all of this code. You don't need to read it. You can if you want, but you don't have to. Click anywhere in here and then press control A to select all. And you can then press control C to copy it. Go into the other module one in the new PowerPoint and press Control V to paste it. That's all you need to do with the code, and that's all set up. Finally, as we're using a PowerPoint that's got macros in, you need to save it as a macro-enabled PowerPoint. It's very simple to do. We just go File, Save As, and then we change it from PPTX to Macro-enabled Presentation, and we're done. Now, if I launch into Presentation View, I've got my timer, I can press play to start it. I can change the time on it and it will be running across both of the slides that I've got running. I hope it's something helpful that you can use. And if you've got any questions, please do ask in the comments below. A couple of other little details that it's worth being aware of. If you come out of your PowerPoint, the timer will still be running. On rare occasions, this can make editing your PowerPoint a little bit laggy. It still does work. I can still move things about. Sometimes though, depending on the performance of your machine, it might not be perfect. It will still work. The easiest thing to do is just go back into presentation mode and pause your timer and everything will be fine. 